Welcome, honors graduates, family members, advisors, faculty, and special guests. I'm Jill Granger, Dean of the Brenton Honors College. This medallion ceremony is one of a kind. And although I hate that we cannot be together for our traditional gathering and celebration, I'm excited that so many more of our special friends and family members will be able to join us through this format. While this may not be the way that we expected to be able to celebrate you and your accomplishments, it is a new way to share and celebrate with many more of our family and friends. I'm happy that so many of you are joining us here tonight as we take a moment away from our busy lives to stop, slow down, and honor our graduating seniors. This group of seniors will be the first graduating class from the Brenton Honors College. As many of you are aware, the Honors College was dedicated in September of this year in honor of Jack and Judy Brinson, longtime Honors Advisory Board members and tireless supporters of our students. Dedicated in memory of their sons, Kevin and Christopher Brinson, their joy of life and love. We were honored to celebrate Jack and Judy earlier this semester. To me, what it means to be the Brenton Honors College is to bring to the forefront our mission as a regionally engaged institution, to serve our communities and to focus on access of opportunities for Western Carolina's most academically engaged and academically ambitious students. Following Jack and Judy's example, the Brenton Honors College celebrates our students and their passions, their accomplishments and their humanity. Members of our Honors College Board, like Jack and Judy Brinson, make it possible for our Honors College students to study abroad through the Travel Awards Program because they recognize that study abroad is often a transformative experience for a young person. Or making it possible for our Honors College students to do research because they recognize research involvement as a formative way to gain expertise in one's field or discipline or making it possible for a student to stay in school without interruption because of a scholarship. These folks are my heroes because of their generosity of spirit and commitment to the future through our students. I know that many of them will be watching tonight's ceremony to join with us in celebrating our new graduates. So I want to say thank you for making time to come out for this event and for all that you do to support these wonderful students. As I read over the names of our graduates for this ceremony, I am so proud of each one of you. You have made your mark on Western Carolina in so many ways. I count myself lucky to have had the chance to get to know so many of you and to work with you on leadership projects in service to the community, helping to make Western a more engaging place to live and study. Watching and cheering you on as you've been featured in university publications, praised by the chancellor and recognized in so many ways for what is best at Western Carolina. You have made a difference. I've seen it. We all have. Your engagement with this place during this time, it has been a special part of the university's long history. And I hope that you will continue to be an engaged part of Western's future as new alumni. As this university continues to develop, your leadership as the first Brinson Honors College graduates will continue to be needed and appreciated. It is your ambition, your initiative, your hope for the future that will help define what it means to be a Western Carolina University Honors graduate. Joining me in hosting tonight's ceremony is Honors Student Board President Maddox Bullris, who will address our graduates in just a moment. Thank you again for joining us for tonight's one-of-a-kind ceremony. And now I'd like to introduce Chancellor Kelly R. Brown, who would like to address our honors graduates at this time. Congratulations, honors students. You have gone above and beyond pressing yourself for excellence in all that you do. As honors graduates of Western, you make us proud every day. We celebrate your success, but this is just the start for you. You've demonstrated leadership in many ways, and we expect that you will continue to do so. As a regionally engaged university, Western is particularly focused in making a difference in our part of the mountain region and in serving the people of Western North Carolina. We know that as honors students and now honors graduates, you will also appreciate this mission and will continue to work together 
to make a difference in your new communities, wherever your next steps take you. Although we cannot be together for this special celebration of your graduation and all that you have accomplished, please know that we are all so proud of you and happy to join you and your families in this celebration. I now introduce Provost and Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs, Dr. Richard Starnes. Congratulations, honor students. As Provost, I know I speak for our deans, department heads, and faculty. We're very proud of you today. We join your families in celebrating your accomplishments as you graduate from Western Carolina University. Without exception, you've done great things as honor students at Western. Your impressive work in class, in the lab, and in the field has set you apart. Through your writing, your research, your engagement with local communities, and your academic accomplishments, each of you has helped to make WCU a great place to live and learn. As alumni, you now have a new role with the university. We look for you to lead the way. I encourage you to remain involved with your alma mater, to stay connected with the Brinson Honors College and with the faculty in your major departments. We look forward to hearing of your journeys, your adventures, and your successes as you leave Cullowee for new challenges and opportunities. But always remember, you have a home in this valley. Again, congratulations, stay in touch, and come back and see us. Thank you, Chancellor Brown and Provost Starnes for being with us tonight and for your messages to our graduates. And now Dean Granger has a few recognitions of student leaders she'd like to make. I would like to take a moment to recognize graduating seniors who have been active members and officers in the Honor Student Board of Directors. These students have done an incredible amount of work to support the whole of the Brenton Honors College. They are selfless leaders who have stepped up to make a difference in our entire community. Our December 2020 grads, and I will hate to see you go, are Wyatt Jones, Ashley Check, and Paolo Baladares. Thank you all so much for everything you've done. The Brenton Honors College would like to formally recognize two students tonight for their Degree Plus Level 3 achievement. Degree Plus is a holistic approach to education that sets out to strengthen our incredible work around leadership, cultural responsiveness, teamwork, and professionalism and to make it an intentional enhancement to the curricular and co-curricular experience at WCU. Participation prepares students for life after Western Carolina. It is a three-level voluntary experimental program which uses extracurricular activities to help students obtain one or more transferable skills. Tonight, we recognize Ashley Check for level three in professionalism and Mary Stewart Van Hoy for level three in cultural responsiveness, professionalism, leadership, as well as teamwork. And now for a message from our Honors Board of Directors President, Maddox Bolris. My name is Maddox Bolris, and I'm the current president of the Brinson Honors College Board of Directors. And on behalf of the board, I just want to welcome you to tonight's ceremony, as well as congratulate you for your significant accomplishment. Graduating from the Brinson Honors College by itself is an amazing accomplishment, but graduating with full honors during a global pandemic is on a completely different level. You have no doubt risen to the challenges presented this year with positivity and determination, and your perseverance is evident by receiving your medallion despite all odds. I know your final semester as a college student has been anything what you expected. I'm a senior too, and trust me, I can sympathize with the heartbreak of watching event after event get canceled. I know I'm not the only one who has called my parents or my friends in the middle of the night crying over how this semester has unfolded. Senior year of college is supposed to be filled with homecoming games, concerts, parades, trips, and most importantly, in-person celebrations. While you haven't gotten to experience these things to the extent that we all imagined, I have no doubt that this experience has made you stronger. Never again will you take a moment for granted. Those all-nighters studying in the library with your friends during finals week, Starbucks dates, and late night visits in the calf are all things you will treasure forever because you know how quickly things like that can be taken away. I have no doubt you have made the most of your semester for that very reason. As cliche as it is, we don't know what tomorrow is going to bring. You know that better than anybody. 
Use this experience and the growth that you have developed throughout the semester as motivation to live your life to the fullest. Go out and do what you want to do. Don't let anything keep you from living your dreams. Remember, while there may be roadblocks along the way, you are more than able to handle them because you have survived through this. This class of graduates holds a very special place in my heart. Not only does this class hold some of my best friends, but it also holds my college roommate. And if their personality can attest to anything about this class, it's that you are full of courageous leaders, brilliant minds, and are just incredible people. There's no doubt that each of you will leave behind an awesome legacy wherever you go. I look forward to seeing what you will accomplish in the future, no matter what it is. Always know that Western Carolina and the Brunson Honors College are a piece of your journey and that we are just where you left us. And as always, go Cats! Thank you, Maddox. And now for the presentation of our graduate candidates for the fall of 2020. Amanda Noel Allison. Michael McKinley Austin. Paolo Stefano Baladaris. So I changed my major to nursing when I was biology pre-med because of the community service aspect of Yano's College. Um, as a freshman, we attended the CURE conference and that got me in contact with community partners in Calabi Silva area. With that in mind, I went to go volunteer at a clinic and I worked as a translator. With these in mind, I work with nurses and nurse practitioners and I love for their work. So with talking with them for quite a few months, I got interested and applied for the nursing program, and I am one week away from graduating. Allison Jewel Bedix. Helen Patricia Bowen. Part of being in the Western Carolina University Honors College was when I got to go to the National Conference for Undergraduate Research in Kennesaw, Georgia in 2019. I'm a communications major with a minor in psychology and what I really loved about going to NCUR was that I got to do my undergraduate research on something that was completely unrelated to my major. I did it on a very specific kind of wordplay in William Shakespeare's Much Ado About Nothing. And that really meant a lot to me in that I was allowed to explore my personal interests outside of just what I was studying. I got to talk about something I thought was deeply cool and I got to teach it to other people who thought it was really interesting and I learned a lot from everyone else who came, from their, who came with their passion projects too. It was a really great experience and I'd absolutely recommend undergraduate research to anyone interested in joining the Honors College. Mackenzie. Shay Buchanan. Madeline Catherine Earl. Ashton Victoria Cannon. So leadership um, through the Honors College has really impacted me in a lot of ways and learning through the leaders um, that the Honors College has presented us. I was actually a team captain for the varsity women's soccer team at Western Carolina and that was such an honor. And I feel like um, just having the mentors that we had through the Honors College and the motivation through the leaders of that just really kept us you know, um, on top of things with always stepping up in classes and speaking up um, in leadership in any clubs that we were involved in. I was also involved in RUF on campus um, and got the chance to do um, some worship team with them and sing for them. So just having the courage to just step up um, was really promoted through the Honors College and I appreciate that and I plan to carry that through um, my career. Margaret 
Georgiana Carter. Miranda Victoria Chambers. Victoria Lee Holmes. Ashley Brianna Sandine Chet. Nicole Elizabeth Day. Yes. Thank you. So as an Honors College Ambassador, I really got to engage with Honors students on campus and even future incoming students. And it was just a really cool experience to talk to people about the Honors College and introduce them to Western and show them all the different opportunities we have. Erica Duncan. Mackenzie Suzanne Elliott. Sophia McKenna Avat. Blakely Lauren Fanning. Ross Alexander Ferris. Tona Jennifer Francisco. Kimberly Nicole Bragg. Tyler Ashley Harris. Aspen Stroud Williams Hastings. So the Honors College has prepared me for life in more way than one, but I think the biggest thing is just teaching me that the bare minimum isn't really acceptable you have to do more than that to go further in life so through research I've created amazing relationships and connections with professors and it led me to internships and so I think that the Honors College has really shown me that you have to do more than the bare minimum to be great. So. Anthony Jacob Hawkins Casey Evelyn Hester. Nadia Howard. Savannah Nicole Hutzel. Wyatt Austin Jones. Connor Joseph Laramore. Ethan Edward Leatherman. Victoria Ray Laser. Sarah Lone. Paige Alexia Lowry.
Mary Catherine McQuaid. So my favorite experience here at Western Carolina University in the Brinson Honors College was being the first group of freshmen that were allowed to travel and study abroad. I spent six weeks in Dortmund, Germany, and we also traveled a bit around Germany and Europe itself. And I really learned a lot about myself as an individual and how to be independent and I wouldn't trade that trip for the world. Samuel Thomas Morer. Emily Grace Nitko. Andrew Holden Pyle. My name is Drew Pyle. Uh, I'm a graduate in December of 2020, and I'm planning on joining the Chick fil A uh, in Hendersonville with the position of the Ascent Leadership Program. Amelia Ann Ray. Julia Garrett Riddle. Abigail Marie Robertson. Paige Marguerite Robinson. Kennerly Jane Rots. Julia Teresa Salvador. Diana Estelle Sanders. Katie N. Scott. Marceline Elizabeth Cena. Kaylin Marie Simmons. Madeline Bailey Slaughter. Sarah Rachel Summers. Meredith Eliza Stapp. Emily Ann Sakonic. Marguerite Semensky. Megan Lynn Swindell. Emily C. Tatum. Marissa N. Todd. Mary Stewart Van Hoy. Maylee B. Weaver.
Kiera Marie Williams. Holly Ann Wilson. Sarah Caroline Weibel. This is a very special event and one that we anxiously look forward to celebrating with you. I'm sure that you can tell that a great deal of time and effort have gone into producing this program. In addition to our grads who took time during their busy final days on campus to come by for a video or a photo, I want to dearly thank our executive assistant, Meredith Searcy, and our Brenton Honors College office student workers, Jacob Lohman, our graduate assistant, Patrick Barchett, our lead student worker, and Dixie Laws. Thank you for all of your efforts in making tonight very special. We appreciate you. And let's have one final round of applause in celebration of all of our graduates. And thank you again for joining us.